Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to more modded Mass Effect 3. This is Hill, and it, this is Commander Leon Shepard. We're down on the crew deck. It's time to speak to some of the crew members here. Um, one other note, we have turned back on Project Variety. Um, some people have had success, I guess, with it working after the introductory mission, I guess, to the Citadel after you've talked to um, Admiral Hackett, that it seems to work. We're hoping that it will. If not, I will have to disable it again. All right, we're going to go in here. This should be Liara's office, Miranda's old office. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Dr. Tassoni? Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get, we'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans finish it? Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. Agreed. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. I appreciate your asking. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. <laughs> okay. Oh, and we got two reputation points. All right. Let's This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Not essential. You Thank you. So, just in case, let's see do we have anything that we've uncovered yet? Armor mod kit. Oh, uh, can we strengthen our shields? Thanks. I'm sure every little bit helps. Please enjoy your day. All right, let's go in and say hello to the doctor. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Why? Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. 
Let's just make sure everything is okay. Better safe than sorry. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. The procedure we did for your scarring has produced a lovely synthetic protein overlay. And your body has accepted the implants quite nicely. It a better. Sure didn't come cheap. That's it. You're the picture of health. Let's ask about medical supplies. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Hmm. Let's talk about Cerberus. You ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. And we've got to ask about family. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. All right, that's it. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. It's important to talk to the Doctor because she will have a quest for you later, so... I don't know if, if it is required that you speak to her or not, but... I do want to make sure I get the quest. Ah, look. Oh, and it's Edie again. Hello, Shepard. Hello. Good to see you. And this, what they're calling the Cerberus machine. Dr. Eva Corre. I see the mod is already in place. Okay. It's a little spoiler there. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Maintenance shaft? I didn't know we could go down here. Where is all this stuff coming from? As much as I've played this game, it's like I've never... Not that I've played it that much, though. Where's a Sovereign model? I mean, like four or five times I've never been down here. So we've got model ships. Hidden. Hurry and cruiser. This is cool. Who put these things down here? Is this in the unmodded game? I I don't know. Okay, engineering, and we get to speak to Engineer Adams. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. Drive. There's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's is incredible. that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me. Asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. No need for an apology. Your alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Um, let's ask about the Normandy. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus Drive Corps has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new Drive Corps is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. Hmm. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. 
Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers? The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Sounds good. Let's talk about Edie. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and at time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. <laughs> All right, carry on. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Okay, I'm thinking that might be everyone to talk to thus far. Oh yeah, shuttle bay. Let's go down there. Lieutenant? Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. We've got news about our supply chains, Commander. At ease. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? Hmm. So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Uh, let's ask about his service record. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident, and practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them. Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy Retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. Let's talk about shuttle. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. <laughs> yeah, she looks like a brick when she flies. Let's talk about the armory. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. All right, carry on. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. All right, we got two more Paragon. 
Let's see if we can do any weapon upgrades while we're here. Alright, there's the Predator, the Shuriken, that's what I'm looking for. I think we've got it all the way upgraded. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Are we going to use the Predator, though? Hmm, I'd hate to spend the money on it and not really use it. kind of want to use this Eagle, but I'm not sure how heavy it's going to be. It says it's improved weapon damage and weight. Let's go ahead. We'll, since we've got so much money, we'll go ahead and get a level 5 Eagle. Alright, so Liara... I am going to need to do the Predator because Li, Liara uses it. Well, maybe we'll give her the Eagle, though. And James, I think, is using the Crusader. Alright, we're running out of money. And also... The M8 Avenger. Let's see how far we can upgrade that. That is it. Alright, I'm, I'm tempted to upgrade the Predator, but I think we can go with the Eagles for anyone using a pistol. Alright, so now we have numerous unlocks here that are going to occur. So we've got stereo controls in all the major parts of the ship. Alright, well while that's going on, I think we can head up. Let's go to the captain's quarters. These are the models. It seems like we got more models than this when we were in the cargo hold. We've got the Shadow Broker ship, a Reaper. I think that's a Turian ship at the top, and then the Normandy. All right, upgrades are complete. Normandy Manifest. Can we get an executive officer right now? Wow, Joker, executive officer? Mm, we might want to wait till we get some more crew members here. Marine officer, though, none. I was going to say I was going to let uh, Vega be the Marine officer. Alright, well, we'll wait till we get more crew members. Okay, I think it's time for us to get downstairs. Hang on, hang on, what's this? Tortuga? 
Okay, this shows our accomplishments, all right. can't think of anybody else to talk to. We talked to Trainer earlier. We talked to Joker earlier. I think it's time to find our next mission. Yeah, we're still in orbit of Sanctum where we found the Cerberus Lab. All right, and here's Skepsis that we have recovered all artifacts. And what else is lit up here for us? What's this over here? Project Phoenix. Um... Since we're sort of in the quadrant, let's go on over here. Mm, we're in the Hecate system. I found something. Oh boy, look at this Reaper alert. Is this fuel? Yes. Thank you. All right, let's head to Project Phoenix. Signal confirmed. Oh man, look at this. We're in a different system. Why are these Reapers coming after us? Alright, we picked up more fuel. Alright, let's scan and see what's going on here. Got more assets. Oh, Allers, where that's who I need to talk to. Can't remember where we put her, because I the last playthrough I did not bring her on board the ship. I mean it's great to be immortalized in a video game, but I don't know. I found her more annoying than anything else. Alright, let's go and recover this Prothean artifact. Eden Pro Oh, this is a oh this is the um the DLC. Do we want to do this right now? Hmm. Yeah, maybe another time. This is uh, the DLC that uh, introduces Javik. Okay, we've got the Primark, and why is the Citadel flashing? What do we need to do? I've got no reports here. All right, we're gonna head here then to rescue the Turian Primark. A save in here. Here we go.
Alright, our only two squad mates. Okay, we will continue with the Cerberus armor. Okay, let's we have our Shuriken 5, and we are gonna replace the Predator. with the eagle good and it does not restrict our weight excellent okay so James has his crusader and avenger upgraded and Liara we are going to give her an eagle She's got a shuriken upgrade. Okay. I think I'm good with level ups for the moment. Let's go. getting decimated strongest military in the galaxy and the reapers are obliterating it was it like this on earth yes Shepard I'm so sorry yeah commander the LC is getting swarmed James open that hatch I think we're clear. Good work, team. <laughs> uh, I don't recall that there was anything to pick up at this point. Let's just keep going. James? Thank you for the uh, incendiary. Ammo? Officer. Try them again. All right, we have the M ninety seven Viper. All right, I think here we are. Get your men up on that north barricade. 
Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. Hmm. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. Okay. I see the comm tower to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go. All right, we will continue with more on the moon of Manet in our next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out. Thank you.